Now, most of these DVDs are in the one of those boxes at the moment, so not all DVDs are going to show. So, most of those DVDs I have are in one of those boxes that can't show in the moment. So, let's go. Sorry for the inconvenience. Bob Stakes, March 18, 2008. This is a Focus Features movie. This one has the regular fanfare at the beginning. Yes, this is a full art blockbuster. New Line Cinema Film. This one, I believe it has the alternate fanfare at the beginning. This is a Lionscape movie. It says GV778 on the disc for, for some reason. This one, I believe it has the regular fanfare. Bob today is January 18, 2008. This is one of the very few DVDs I have with the Prototype Alliance Films logo on the cover and the disc. This is a New Line Cinema movie. But even though on the disc says, even though on the disc has the regular Alliance Films logo for unknown reason. Part of the Lions Alliance Collector Series. This is a Miramax movie. I believe this one has the US Master at the beginning. Same with this next one. This is a reprint from 2010. But the disc itself is an Edward Timmel 1 reprint, but however, I did check the opening of this. This DVD still has the same master as the 2003 DVD. This is a Lionsgate movie, and if I'm not mistaken, this is one of the very few Marvel direct-to-DVD films that were released by Lionsgate. I do have the the third movie on Blu-ray, but that's from Lionsgate. Both of these are Summit Entertainment movies. Disc for John Wick, which is still the same master as the 2015 DVD. The disc and the disc for John Wick Chapter 2, which is still from 2017. Even though this sets from 2008-19. This one's a Quebec movie. This one, I believe it has the Mackle Vision logo. Let me check on the back cover. Oh yeah, I did check it. It does have the Mackle Vision logo at the beginning, before the 999 Lines Alliance Weber film logo at the beginning. Not sure sure if it has the alternate fanfare or regular fanfare at the beginning. Dementia Movie, Colors of Columbia Pictures, and <clears throat> Troublemaker Studios. This has a commercial at the beginning, which I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. This one has the regular fanfare at the beginning. This is an Echo Bridge movie released on the Evil Alliance. Blob State, March 29, 2011.
This one has the alternate fanfare. Bob State, December 14, 2009. New Line Cinema Film. <coughs> Gotta do fast with these. This one, if I, I remember correctly, this one has the regular fanfare. At the beginning. New Line Cinema Film. I have the original 1984 version of Red Dawn on DVD, but that's from MGM. This one's from Film District. Four more from Cine Video Club. Canadian movie. Um, this offer expired on February 7th, 2003, and this rebate order expired on January, uh, expired on January 31st, 2003. Oh yeah, it says also right there, expired on January 31st, 2003. This one, the game is actually exclusive to PlayStation 2, by the way. Now, the weird thing is, the first movie was released by Air Tier 1, but the sequels are made by that crappy BBS. Some of their entertainment movie. First Look Pictures movie. Kobe's from Millennium Films. Weinstein Company movie, Kobe's of Columbia Pictures. The movie's almost three hours long. As you can see. This one has the regular fanfare at the beginning. It has the Prototype Alliance Veva film logo. I did check it. It does have the 2004 Alliance Alliance Veva film logo at the beginning. Another Quebec movie I have for the collection. One more from Videotron. This one, I'm not sure if this will have the regular fanfare or the alternate fanfare at the beginning, but tell me guys in the comments what Lions version, Lions Films logo music will have. Bob Day is June 1st, 2009. This is a Focus Features movie. Kobe's Film 4. Another film more from Blockbuster. Same with the next one. Part of the New Line Platinum series. Blop Day is June 5th, 2005. This is a New Line Cinema film. I think this has the regular fan, alternate fanfare or the regular at the beginning. I know that Austin and DVD King, I believe, has this DVD as well. Kind of cool looking case though. Part of the Infinite Film series.
This one does not have the Macro Vision logo at the beginning. Has the same looking case, just like on Awesome Powers to Spy with Shack Me. Another Finifilm DVD. This one's a reprint from 2007, but I did check the opening. This DVD actually does not have the Alliance Atlantis logo at the beginning, which, which is kind of weird. And yes, this DVD still has the same master, I believe, as the 2001 DVD, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Overture Films movie, and if I'm not mistaken, I believe it has the regular fanfare. Full more from Blockbuster. It has the New Line Home Video logo on the back, as you can see. was on a flipper disc. 